what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy. We've got some interesting questions. Fon Santorelli, so does this mean we should stack the box and take the chance that our DBs could just slow the passing game enough? Um... I mean, you, you know, we're not talking probably like nine in the box or anything absurd, but you're gonna have seven in there, right? Like, I, I think you're 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 definitely going to lean on defending the run versus the pass, and yes, make them prove that they will still rely on Will Rogers and have some success there. I would test that out early at least. Yeah, I don't think that I would have crazy changes. I agree with T. Bob. Like, you're gonna maybe add some numbers to the box, but not have a completely different game plan. I think it's also more about personnel. Like, this feels like a game. We talked about it yesterday. Makai Wingo should dominate. Yep. He should dominate his individual matchups. He's no longer going to receive a double team on every single snap because now he's got his partner right next to him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got Mason Smith right next to him, and so you don't have the ability. Now, if they have Makai Wingo double teamed all the time, then that falls on Mason Smith. Yep. And Mason Smith has to take over the game. But this feels like a game that he's going to be incredibly difficult to block, I'm looking more one level back. I'm looking at linebacker. You are the key to this game. And Omar Spates has got an ankle injury. We don't know what his status is. Whoever that linebacker is, you might be the most important player. Because if Perkins is going to be a nickel Sam, he's going to be doing some different things like we saw last week. Mm -hmm. It's going to fall on you to go out there and make plays against a really good player, their best player. So that's the position group that I'm probably going to be watching the closest when this game starts. Yeah, um, this is, like we said, the perfect get-right game for that linebacker crew needing to gain a little confidence. Uh, uh, what about this question, Jake? JB asking, could they move Mason Smith to end and put Jordan uh, Jefferson in the middle? Uh, I, I think this is kind of interesting because, I mean, if you really wanted to go, is it crazy? If you really wanted to go like, okay, let's put our best run defense, defensive line out there, would that not be maybe Mason Smith and Sabian Jones at the two ends? And I mean, if you're doing like a more traditional four three, like four big guys, and yeah. then and then uh, Wingo and uh, Jefferson in the middle. Yeah, I, I guess the only thing you'd have to make sure whoever that end is. Let's say you kick either Mason Smith or Makai Wingo out. Now I wouldn't kick Makai Wingo out, even though he might look like he's suited better for that. It's do they understand the edge responsibilities? Yeah. Do they understand setting the edge? It's not. You can't just place somebody in that position and say, okay, well, you're bigger, you're strong, hold point. Well, there's a technique to holding point. There's a thought process between, you know, what he's done, which is try to wreak havoc in the middle of the defense and actually having a responsibility where, yes, I've got to go fast, but I also have this responsibility that I cannot let anything outside of me. So it's a different speed. It's a different thought process. Learn it. Well, I mean, what? We ask O-Lyman to play 17 different positions. Just learn the position. Look, Cross just like training. they asked fullback to play running back, tight yeah, end, and fullback. Exactly. But, okay. but everybody's built a little bit different. DC defenders are just dumb, you know? They can't they oh. can't, you can't put too much on their plate. Um <laughs> Def- very I've, I've I've played <laughs> here what Hartsock thinks about defensive players, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's that still plays true. The um okay, hey, uh, so coach. So, so I, I don't, I'll, I'll be interested to see if they play with the groupies at all. Cause I mean, but, but haven't, but they've been talking about bumping Mason's fit to end in packages for years, right? Didn't they even do that when he was a freshman at times? Um, I, I'm just more excited. I'm not saying you the, can, I'm just yeah. saying like, it is a different position. So if he has not been repping that and he's missed a lot of practice, I yeah. don't know that you can count on him to go out there and execute like you have to just because the reps haven't been there. I'm just more excited to see Mason Smith and uh, can he continue some of the growth that he even showed within the game last week. Like, now it's like, okay, first contact. You know, you got it out of your system. Uh, now yeah. it's time to go out there and play free, start a ball, get violent, get violent hands. The only guy's in on you. He was giving up his chest last week early on, and then he wasn't shedding, whereas you watch Makai Wingo and his hips were exploding, like, poof. Arm was fully extended, yeah. getting off blocks. Uh, is some of that game shape? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Because at, with yeah, the, yeah, because I, 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 I never, I never missed, I never missed a game at yeah. LSU. You had a torn ACL, so you mm-hmm. went through the process of trying to get back in that. What was it yeah. like for you? Not even mentally. That's a portion of it, but physically, even though you've been practicing, what was that first game like? Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know because like. 
I don't have a great parallel for what he went through where playing, missing a year, like almost two years when you look at it all together, it felt like because of how his last season ended where he like missed last one he plays the bowl game. Um, like I basically didn't play football for like a couple of years, right? Because you yeah. redshirt, then you get hurt. So it was just an extended, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I will say this, like, like I've hammered this week. I saw like noticeable, very noticeable improvement within the game itself on Saturday. So I would imagine that that would continue into this Saturday. Would this surprise you if I said last week he graded out overall 68.6%, but 40.6% in the run game and was 827 in the pass rush? Um, maybe Do you think that's fair? Bit because I don't remember any pass rushes super popping off the screen to me. Well, there's one sack. Um, but and they've uh, got one on the year now. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications we post every single day here on OTB LSU.